Good morning, lights. The time has come. The time has come to end the ways of life we are so accustomed to, yet are so unhappy in it. The time has come to choose happiness over convenience and all that we have always known. More importantly, it is time to awaken, not alone, but collectively. As the awakened collective, you continue to make great strides in uniting the opposing forces on your planet, and we are extremely pleased with this. The fact that you are conscious enough to see the futility of playing the polarity games put on you at a higher frequency, you must already be vibrating at a high level to be able to hear these messages. And you are continually proving your capacity for compassion, love without conditions, and judgment-free acceptance that allows you to forgive and let go of anger. This change in awareness is all about making that transformation from the egoic mind to the high self's heart. You are highly tuned creatures who have shown the capacity to feel into something. You are also extremely attached to your hearts, which are the new foci of your beingness. To keep those high vibrations and overcome the mind-focused conflicts that exist between ideologies and points of view, you must be in your hearts. Your decision to prioritize your emotions has a long history and it has been successful for you. You can count the times an intuitive intuition saved you from making a bad choice or helped you make the correct one. And those decisions impacted your life forever. You act in this manner, you operate in this manner. And as a result, you are most suited to guide mankind into a higher state of awareness. It's not because you know all that needs to be known. You are not following the appropriate instructor, that's why. It's not because your extraterrestrial DNA has been awakened more often. It's because of your humanity which is entirely centered on your feelings. When you are led towards the light from within, you have more to offer mankind than someone with three PhDs. You are designed to be feeling creatures who utilize your intuitive sense to lead you in the right direction. Compared to scientists who are at the cutting edge of knowledge about the cosmos and how it functions, you have more to teach mankind. You have so much more to offer as a result of everything you have experienced and felt. And that is sufficient for you to be a person who helps all of mankind. We see you attempting to define who you need to be what you ought to do, 
and what you ought to name yourself. But the fact is that you are enough just as you are. It's time for the collective of the awakened to accept the task of reconciling these opposites. You don't need any additional distance. Nobody in a position of authority or influence needs to intervene on your behalf. Recognizing the healer that has always been there, the teacher that is ready to speak out, and the hero that is within you, will allow you to behave exactly how you like while knowing that you are assisting and healing humanity just by being who you are. You, my friends, are the creation of love. I would go even as far as to say that you are love. It doesn't matter how messy you seem, as long as you're showing someone you care about them and holding space for them to be more of who they really are. Not as a person who can produce a piece of art, a book or establish a health facility, but rather as a being of unwavering love. You are there to become your greatest version of yourself, the creation of anything for your other people to appreciate alongside you. You must follow your intuition, which is why all of those things are amazing. However, your self-giving to the cosmos is a sufficient offering. Many individuals may be seen scrunching up their foreheads as they try to determine what they can contribute to mankind. That is both concrete and obvious to others. My message here is simply exude love Trust that your influence is what you want it to be and keep your heart open to receiving more inspiration. You will also generate something that embodies the love you are exuding. But if you begin by attempting to see the final outcome, you will be trapped within your mind and have very little control over how you will specifically provide for other people. In order to reach your multidimensional self, let go of the desire to plan out what you will contribute and instead keep expanding in your heart space. Your higher awareness is located there. You should direct all of your energies into it. You may always utilize your thoughts to serve as a constant reminder that the best form of yourself is acting from the heart. You can always use your thoughts to concentrate on anything else, like your heart, a tree, a flower, or the sky. You may utilize your thoughts to concentrate on something that will raise your vibration so that you can be open to inspiration. Once you really begin to make your gift to mankind, you must practice self-control and maintain your focus in order to avoid using your thoughts to question what you are doing or to break it down in order to judge its worth. Being authentic and coming from the heart will help you connect with us in the reality where we are co-creating with you. However, we won't be the only ones to do it. There are so many beings who want to work with you, who want to love you, embrace you, and tell you how great you are. And they can all do that because they have made the decision to be their highest selves, to act from their hearts, and to love because love is who and what they are. It is who and what you are. You should utilize your sharp brains to concentrate on that. 
as soon as you stop trying to figure out what you should be doing, you'll experience instant relaxation. And the next second, you'll feel heart-centered. Additionally, we simply want to emphasize that being silent is still acceptance. However, you are always becoming more of who you really are. As a result, you may as well begin doing it right now in a conscious and purposeful manner. This is the only path to living your true life, the path that was destined for you. As always, we love you deeply and wish for you to have the most abundant and joyous life possible. Have a wonderful day. Driven through the darkness Looking for the sunrise Sometimes it feels like we're so far away Trying to keep our heads above the waves